Hello Guardians and Assassins and I hope you are having a fantastic day today. Today we're going to be going over the Antelope D submachine gun with a positive outlook. The Antelope D has a 600 round per minute submachine gun with a magazine of 26 to 28 and it has kill clip. Kill clip reloading after a kill grants increased damage as well as ricochet rounds. Ricochet rounds, ricochet off hard surfaces, increase stability, and slightly increase range. And the other option that we have is Tactical Magazine. Tactical Magazine now slightly increases stability, increases reload speed, and slightly increases magazine size. Now guys, when they say slightly, they really do mean slightly. We're looking at the difference of two rounds here. So for today, we're going to go with the ricochet rounds for that little bit of extra range and stability. They have two fantastic sights here. One known as the GB Iron, which is a short zoom sight. Increases handling speed and slightly increases range. And the other fantastic marvelous sight is actually known as the SC Hollow sight. It is a medium zoom, brightly increases range, slightly decreases handling speed. And, well, to be honest, guys, we definitely want to keep that range out as far as possible on this. This is all wrapped up with a precision frame, meaning the weapon's recoil pattern is more predictably vertical, which is up and down, not left and right. So all you got to do to be able to control this bad boy is put a little bit of pressure on your right stick downwards, and you should be able to land your shots. Now, we also have the Positive Outlook Auto Rifle, which is a 450 round per minute auto rifle with a magazine of 35 with a precision frame and kill clip. So let's dive into this. Kill clip once again, reloading after a kill grants increased damage. The Another option for this weapon for the second row is Accurized Rounds, which increases range, flat and simple. Armor piercing rounds is the other option which slightly increases range, it causes extra damage to combatant shields, and slightly over penetrates targets. We have three sights for this. We have the Jolt PS, which is a short zoom sight, increased range, slightly increased handling speed. We have the Flash HS5, which is a medium zoom sight, increased range, slightly increased handling speed. And finally, we have the Transmission MS7, which is a long zoom, increased range, slightly decreases handling speed sight. This is all wrapped up once again with the Precision Frame, making for a fantastic weapon, which you guys will soon see. Okay, guys. So, the... Antelope D is not exactly an easy weapon to get. You need to be level 25 with the gunsmith, and, you know, you're still relying on RNG to be able to pick this thing up. So, the second best option here is a, another weapon called the Sandbox C. It is the exact same as the Antelope D, but it's blue with a little bit less stats on the bottom end. But, you know what? The range is still good, and it's the fire rate doesn't change. Most of the uh, options for the weapon itself are good. So today, what we're doing is I'm, I'm showing you the mission called Exodus Siege. Exodus Siege will reward you with the Sandok Sea at the very end of it. We're helping a clan member actually pick up the Sandok Sea because he has not had the luck to be able to get a Antelope D just yet. So... In order to be able to find this mission, it is marked on your map if you go towards Exodus Black. It is actually located on the exact opposite side of Failsafe. So it's just like a normal mission. Pick it up and, you know, run through it and see how it does for you. Now, guys, today you're going to be able to see how this works and how everything plays out. But I'll be honest with you. If you guys want to see more... Um, Go ahead and click that subscribe button. If you like the video, go ahead and click like. And if you never want to miss a video from me, go ahead and click that bell for the notifications. Either way, I hope you guys do enjoy the video. And as always, Guardians and Assassins, have a wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next video.
Fallen signal is coming from behind a massive barrier powered by Vex tech. Looks like they've stolen themselves a toy. Let's see who's been sending these fallen to kill Failsafe and kill them back. to solve problems created by the Cade unit. That must be one of your designated day-to-day -day functions. I love it. One. I love it. Five minutes remaining. This is amazing. You're pulling ahead. Keep it that way. Oh. Oh. 
Three minutes left. Fight on and claim victory. Victory well executed. I told you to fight, and you annihilated them. Good. <laughs>